What about the ivory billed woodpecker? Mm -hmm. Several years ago, there was an, uh, a sighting. Maybe there wasn't a sighting, but there was at least yeah. uh, by many thought to be a sighting. Do you think there was a sighting, or do you think there was not? A sighting? Um, I I was quite involved in that uh, that whole episode as a skeptic. Um, and what I would say as a skeptic is that there's no there's no concrete evidence. There's no verifiable evidence that an ivory-billed woodpecker was there. Mm -hmm. So there may have been a sighting, there may not have been, but a sighting is just a it's just an eyewitness account and just like um, eyewitness testimony in court, it's uh, it's inherently unreliable and you need stronger, you need harder evidence, a photograph, something verifiable that everyone can look at and agree, yes, that's the, that's the bird. And it, um, it's so easy um, for our brains to trick us when, uh, especially when we want to see something as badly as everyone wanted to see an ivory-billed woodpecker. In a brief glimpse, um, maybe the sunlight catching the wings or something else, um, a pileated woodpecker can just, in that flash of an instant, suggest an ivory build. And there's a lot of research that shows, first, that we can misinterpret something that we see, and then that once we've misinterpreted it, our brain will start to manipulate the memory. and actually create a memory for us of something that wasn't there. Um, and especially in a very brief sighting, as all the ivory bill sightings were, a very brief glimpse and um, a bird that everyone really wanted to see. It's just so easy to get fooled. Um, so that's my... And the, the bottom line is that for something as rare as an ivory-billed woodpecker, there needs to be a photograph or a video or some some really solid evidence. Yeah, that story was interesting because it, you know, there was experts like you on that side, and there were, you know, you know, well-respected mm -hmm. experts on the other side as well. So yeah. I was interested to see that one unfold. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting, uh, interesting story to study, mm -hmm. and I imagine that it might. Uh, uh, it would make a very good case study for a, for that sort of um, scientific debate over what is evidence, what's acceptable evidence, and and how can people get fooled? And uh, but yeah, I I find the whole thing fascinating. Now it wasn't much fun to be involved in it, <laughs> but but it's just a fascinating story, mm -hmm. um, and it's well sad that it didn't turn out. Um, differently, but uh, yeah, where a lot of people could see it, and yeah, to verify it. Okay. But so many people have looked now and and are still looking. I think it's a uh, it's not looking very hopeful now. Mm -hmm. um, there's been there was so much publicity around that sighting, and so many people were looking, and every every out of the way place in the south was being searched, and yeah. uh, nothing turned up.